Hi, LEGO fans. It's Stephen from Majorspoilers.com. And this week, we have another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Age of Ultron set, 76031. This one does tie into the movie. And what is cool about this set? Well, first of all, it's got the Hulkbuster armor, the one set thing that uh, everyone's super excited about from the trailer. It also has a Hulk. It also has a Scarlet Witch. It has Iron Man Mark 43 armor, which we've seen before, so that's not a big deal. But it also has Ultron Prime, the final... Uh, incarnation of Ultron in the movie. It only has 248 pieces. It's not going to take that long to put together. So why don't we stop with all the jibber jabber. Let's open the box, see what's inside, and then commence with the building. So as expected, there's not a whole lot in this set. There are three bags, one bag just for the Hulk. And the Hulk is taking on a little bit of a different green appearance this time that I noticed. We've got some stickers. We've got the comic book, and then we have the build instructions, which, again, there are not that many pages in this. Should be really quick to put together, so let's get to it. Set 76031, Hulkbuster Smash. This is a very simple set to put together. Just as I was about ready to assemble everything, my son came down and said, oh, hey, with only 248 pieces, most of it should be in the Hulkbuster. And he's absolutely right. In this set, we have, of course, Ultron Prime, which looks really kind of interesting. It's a dark gray on red. It looks very cool. The Iron Man Mark 43 armor we have seen before, so there's nothing new there. Scarlet Witch is nice. Uh, we've seen this hairstyle before, so there's nothing really different there. The face does turn around, so you get angry expression and normal expression. I like the red. This is a red that popped up a couple of years ago with the Guardians of the Galaxy sets, and I like how it continues here. Here she's holding or firing off some of her uh, powers. I think that's kind of a nice touch, although nothing really shoots off with this figure. The black pants work as well. The Hulk is very different from the Hulk that we have seen in other sets. The green is a little bit different, and... What's going on with these pants? These don't look like regular purple Hulk pants that he's ripped out of. The device that captures the Hulk is very, very simple. It folds up uh, the action piece for this set, obviously, is using the super jumper to knock Scarlet Witch down. It's just a simple hinge. It should be relatively easy to hit with your super jumper, although I think most of us by now know that Getting it in one shot with the super jumper isn't always the case, so maybe just flicking it over with your finger might be the way to go. The Hulkbuster is really kind of interesting. I like how LEGO and Marvel are constantly trying to change up the way that they have their giant figures. The hands are still kind of the same. We've seen these style of hands before in other figures like Groot, uh, the Sentinels, those kinds of things. But then as the body is structured, it's not simply popping the same pieces together and again and again to get a similar sculpt, we actually have something that is very unique among all of the other figures in the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes line. Now it is bigger than the Hulk. That's nice. It does have these little uh, brick shooters. That works really well too because as Iron Man comes up with his arm, he can shoot rockets out. The back has these thrusters on it so that the Hulk Buster doesn't always uh, fall over. In real life, though, these thrusters aren't going to help that much, and I have noticed that depending on how you pose the Hulkbuster, it can topple forward relatively easily. And as these joints start to loosen up, expect to see maybe some standing issues uh, going forward. Obviously, as we're just out of the box with this, I haven't noticed this, but it is something to kind of keep in mind. We all know that the Hulkbuster is not an automaton. It doesn't move by itself. There has to be someone on the inside. And this Hulkbuster does indeed have space for our Iron Man with the helmet on to go inside. 248 pieces, set 76031, the Hulkbuster Smash. Very simple set, some simple playability, but it does include three new, well, four new figures, if you count the Hulkbuster armor, in the Ultron Prime, the new Incredible Hulk, and then Scarlet Witch. So those are all in this set 
fun little set. It's not very expensive. I say go and pick it up. That wraps it up for this Lego build. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, use the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. I do have one question for you. What is your favorite part about these Lego builds? What do you like that we do with these builds and these reviews? What don't you like? What would you like to see changed up? Do you want to see only comic book related Legos in this? Or do you want to see some of the city pieces? Do you want to see some of the other sets that Lego has put out? Use the comment section below. We really appreciate it. If you would, follow us on Twitter at Major Spoilers. Visit our website, Majorspoilers.com, for all sorts of comic book news, reviews, and of course, Lego builds. And if you would, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.